Hi friends, I just want to talk to you about my song and the story behind my song, Bring It All to Jesus. Uh, where it started from and what it means for me and what it means for you as a result of what Jesus has done for us. So I'm going to do this by reading out the lyrics so that you can hear what the song says and then just to talk through the progression of the song a bit. So this is what the song says. It says this, Too long I've been living with shame. Let my fears rule the way. It is time to break these chains. I bring it all back to Jesus. I bring it all, I bring it all back to Jesus. Your word tears down all of the lies that come to steal and destroy. I don't have to be afraid. I bring it all to Jesus. I bring it all, I bring it all back to Jesus. At the cross, you gave everything, broke the power that the darkness brings. You called my name, made me family, won the battle so that I am free. I am free. The blood of Jesus meets my every need. I am free and I'm coming back to who I meant to be. I bring it all, I bring it all back to Jesus. Your voice drowns out all of the doubt. It's the sweetest of sounds. I will never be alone. I bring it all back to Jesus. I bring it all, I bring it all back to Jesus. I actually wrote this song, uh, well, I actually wrote it with a guy called Junior Gar and my husband, Nathan. And the start of this song was really about, I'd had a conversation with someone who's very dear to me, who I believe uh, is full of uh, hope and life and promise. And yet they came to me feeling anxious, feeling worried, feeling alone, feeling downcast really, and really just listening to a lot of lies that the enemy was speaking over him. And uh, I, I remember just feeling like, right, it's time. It's time to break these chains. You don't have to live uh, listening to these lies and believing them anymore. But, you know, it's not just this person who I was chatting to that can often feel that way. We can all have moments where we wake up and we believe a lie. We wake up, we have a choice to believe the truth or believe the lie. And sometimes that lie can overshadow uh, the truth. But actually what we need to do is say, it's time to break these chains. I'm not gonna live this lie anymore. I'm not gonna listen to this lie anymore. And um, because Jesus has come into the world. And it says that line, your word tears down all of the lies. The word of God and also the word made flesh, Jesus. All those lies are dealt with because of Jesus. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid to approach him. We don't have to be afraid about what the future holds. We don't have to be afraid about what yesterday held because we can keep coming to Jesus. And then this chorus talks about the fact of why we can do that, because of what Jesus did with his life and his death and his resurrection, what he accomplished when he was on the cross, where he basically took all the junk, he took all the darkness, he took all the shame, he took all the sin, he took all the pain and the suffering and he bore it on his shoulders, he bore it on his back and then he, he took it to the grave and when he rose again he won the victory over all those things. And it says here that his blood, uh, the blood of Jesus meets my every need. You know, there's nothing that we can't bring before Jesus that he hasn't already dealt with and cannot deal with now whether it's a fear, whether it's just exposing something that we need to bring to him again, whether it's a doubt or a worry, whether it's just a really anxiety, whatever it might be, we bring it all to him. There's nothing that he doesn't know. And actually he has dealt with it so that we can live free. He wants you to be free. He wants me to be free. And the one thing that uh, I want to encourage you in is that he didn't just do it so that he says, you, 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 you can now be free. And we just have this kind of life that is separate from God. Actually, no, what he says is, I call your name and I make you part of my family. I call your name and you now belong. You now belong to my family. So I just want to encourage you today. That last verse, it says that his voice drowns out the doubt. And I want to encourage you today, if you're listening to other voices, if you're listening to what other people are saying over you, or you're listening to an enemy's lie, turn it round, bring it to Jesus and ask him to speak over you, to sing over you again today and uh, remind you of what he says over you. Too long 
Jesus, I bring it all 